Uh, hello, year 10, uh, going into year 11. Um, I hope you're well. Um, this is just a really short video just to explain to you in a little bit more detail exactly what's expected of you over the summer uh, so that you come back to year 11 ready and prepared prepared to go. So you're familiar with the DT website um, and also you're familiar with this part of the website here, so the resistor materials part. You've got Criterion 1, Criterion 2, and obviously you've accessed this video from the summer 2014 link. Okay, so that's the link so far. Um, now the reason for this video really is just to um, make sure that everything we've done in the last half term is being completed up to the right kind of standards. So when we start in year 11 we're all starting from exactly the same place so that we can uh, get to our practical sessions as quickly as possible. Now the progress you guys have made so far is, is absolutely brilliant but in the last half term there's been missed lessons for various reasons so some of you have been ill or you've gone on trips or visits and that kind of thing which is on all those trips and visits are really really important but it does mean that some of you have missed some lessons here and there so you must make sure that you catch up on the bits and pieces that you've you've missed so far so the stuff I'm going to go through in this video is stuff we've done in lessons already um, but you may have missed one one or two bits okay so in order to make sure that you're ready for the start uh, of year 11, Criterion 1 needs to be completely and utterly up to date. Okay, and in order to make sure you've done that, you should go to the Criterion 1 section and have a look at the Criterion 1 checklist. Now that's based on obviously the marks being provided by the exam board. It's just in, a, it's just in student uh, friendly speak. Okay, you should also make sure that your sketchbook is up to date with all of your initial ideas, your kind of free flow sketching. You're not worrying too much about quality of presentation, it's the quality of your ideas we're looking at in your sketchbook. So any, any thoughts that you have throughout the course of the holidays or any ideas that you've had so far just need to be sketched really quickly down in your sketchbook so that we can revisit them later on if you need be. So sketchbook. In your portfolio, you need your presentation sheet of your best initial ideas. So from your sketchbook where you've got 20 ideas maybe, you take your best six and you present those in your folder and then you annotate them. Okay, now the annotations are quite important and in order to make sure your annotations are correct, you need to use the help sheet that's on the website. So um, once you've done your initial ideas, you need to evaluate your initial ideas. Okay, so that you can show the examiner that you're a reflective student and that you're using your specification to assess the quality of your ideas. So evaluating your ideas comes after the presentation sheet of the six initial ideas in your folder. After the evaluation of initial ideas, you'll have in your folder the development of your best two designs. So you'll have evaluated your six, you'll have chosen the two strongest designs and then you've started to develop those through model making and through more detailed sketching. Okay, um, And that's what we kind of concentrated uh, on during the open days. Um, and also during the, uh, the last couple of lessons before you broke up. Okay, so Criterion 1 up to date, then your sketchbook with all of your kind of free flow sketching, then your initial idea sheet inside your folder with your six most promising ideas that are annotated, evaluation of ideas, and then initial development of those through model making and sketching. So those are the five things we're looking for. Okay. Um, there are some documents just down here on the website, some moral issues, sustainability, uh, and social and cultural issues. They might help with some of your annotations, so it's worth opening those up. If you're a bit unfamiliar with sustainability issues, for example, you should come to that point and that will give you some information. Okay. Just to reiterate where the help is going to be for Criterion 1. Obviously all the help sheets are just there, but before you come in September, Make sure that you've gone through your Criterion 1 checklist and everything is complete. For Criterion 2, exactly the same thing again. Information, help sheets. Okay, make sure you go through all of those things. Um, your Criterion 2 checklist looks like this. Just go through each of the bullet points, make sure you've got what you need. Don't worry about strategy. That's number one on the Criterion 2 checklist. Don't worry about that, we'll do that in September. But sketching, evaluation, and development of ideas should be done. Okay. Those of you who want to go slightly further ahead, by all means, start thinking about additional research you might need to do. Okay, guys. Good luck.